I'm just having to check if uh, they can see me. Yeah, they can. Hello, long time no see. Just starting my day with my rice cakes. No, I'm just about to go and head to the gym. And where I've been up doing check-ins for like an hour, I am ravenous. Mm. Don't look at my nails. And they are phenomenal. Anyway, we are literally just about to head to the gym. I say we, me, alone. And I've got legs. But I've got a lot going on at the moment. Me and Matt are currently sharing a car because my car is broken and has been for the last three months. So it's so hard. Like I feel like we are just constantly having to work around each other's timings and we are two very different people. I'm a morning bird, he is like a night owl, but it does just mean that like any other time of the day, if we're not using the car for work, neither of us really have it. So it is my camera sheet. So it can be a little bit difficult sometimes, but it is fine. I've completed all my check-ins this morning, which is fab and it's only quarter to, is it quarter to eight? Yes, it's only 10 to 8. So that is fantastic. I'm going to go and train legs and then I have got lots of work to do at home. I also have my nails today. I've not had them done in so long, so I'm really excited to bring you along with me. But I'm going to, you know, just vlog the day, show you exactly what I'm eating. I am in my second week of my cut at the moment, which is really exciting. I have been really up and down over the last six months. I have failed so many times uh, and I finally invested in a coach because I know as a coach how important it is having someone just for that accountability and also just someone else you don't want to let down um at that time i just felt like i was happy to let myself down i just don't know why like it's such a bizarre feeling um but yeah so that is kind of the score for today's video i'm really excited to be back behind the camera in front of the camera probably um but yeah let's go through today we made it let's go you know guys honestly this is some kind of sick joke oh, they're not in the case i didn't put them back I do have these in my bag, but I'm literally, like, it's dead. So I'm just having to currently try and charge it for five minutes. Twenty-five percent. That will do. That will do just fine. I've literally just finished my workout and Becca, one of my friends and one of our assistant coaches at HH, she works here and she messaged me and was like, oh, there's some airboards that have been handed in yesterday. Well, I've not been here for a few days. Anyway, I went on to find my old phone. They're here. I must have left them at the gym. I just thought they were at home. That is why my airboard case is empty. <laughs> this is my current life. Maybe we'll just hanging off my arm, which is just obviously glorious. Right, we're going to go for a walk. So, we're just going to have a little, little quick whiz round, because then you're going in your crate, which you hate. But, I've got work to do. Ah, uh -uh. Sit. She's like really, really teething, like she keeps bleeding on all my jumpers. Stop it. What's this? Right. Good lord, wish me luck. Hello. So we actually ended up coming into town because Matt has his hair cut and I'm gonna sit in a coffee shop and do some admin before going home. And um, we've left Maple in her crate. She needs to, stop it. She needs to be better at staying in there, so. We've imprisoned her. We've imprisoned her in her crate. And locked her away. Um, and hopefully she'll sleep. Like a lot of people are saying that when they're nibbling really badly to put them in their crate and like actually you know, force them to like settle, but she doesn't really settle. She just hates it so much. Um, 
so I feel like it sometimes doesn't really work. Like I feel like she sleeps better out of the crate, but who knows? I'm doing what people suggest. The only way is up, baby. This year, I'm becoming a YouTube sensation. Just so you <laughs> So, you'll see so many more videos of me, because I am going to be YouTube famous. In the year, I write on my vision board, or like in my notes, then like that is what I want to do, and then I just don't upload. And then I think, how long do I expect to actually make it happen when I don't do it? So I came back to basically destruction uh, in Mabel's crate. So, so like this thing was like fully pushed through. So she'd obviously like managed to flip this and then it was all the way through like this. So that was empty at the back. This blanket that covers it was inside. Um, she also has, I don't know if you can see here, but she's bent the wire. Uh, and then the handle off of the crate has been removed, which now I feel really bad because Maple, hi, hello sweet baby. Oh, um, I ran out of your food and my bad mummy. So she's got, currently got a fruit salad, haven't you, for lunch. Uh, and I'm gonna have to go and get her some food in a bit. Basically her food, so she's on raw food um, and I have to like go and pick it up most of the time. And the place that we get it from is where literally next door, it's like the unit next door where I get my nails done. So I thought, well, I might as well wait out till I get my nails done because it's about a 25 minute, 20, 20 minute drive. But I thought I had a little bit left, but I don't. So yeah, she's had to have a little fruit salad, which she loves. She is actually really not fussy with like a lot of fruit and veg, which is quite good. Obviously I know that there's fruit and veg that they're not allowed but yeah so she usually has yogurt so she's had um some greek yogurt with that <laughs> sounds like a gourmet meal then she will have um blueberries banana and apple she's just munched on the apple now but yeah i've just put my phone on charge because i'm about to film some content i also need to eat so i'm gonna film a lunch recipe and then obviously eat it i forgot to show you my breakfast it is this. I did get it out of the fridge. Obviously, it was the third one to this. But essentially, it is just Biscoff biscuits at the bottom with some protein yogurt in the middle. That is just Greek yogurt. And then I've put some protein powder and some of the ESN, ESN flavor powder in there as well. Uh, and then I've just topped it with some raspberries and dark raspberry chocolate. So that was breakfast, um, but I ate it in a rush in the car. So I couldn't quite film it because I was eating. Um, but yeah, I also wasn't driving, by the way. Honestly, living with men in your calorie deficit that just leave this kind of stuff out is very annoying. what we're playing with so in here i'll explain when we're eating everything that we have uh, <gasps> get your nose up you're so naughty at the moment okay so what is in the sandwich so honestly it's actually unreal and it's just something that i make a lot it just me it just makes like a difference to sandwiches and i feel like people always think you shouldn't have sandwiches and the only re reason that people would ever suggest that is just because it doesn't fill you up very well but Maple. She's so naughty. On your bed. On your bed. Good girl. Stay. Um, yeah, people, the only reason that people think you probably shouldn't have sandwiches is it's just not very filling. So you need to make sure that whatever it is that you're putting into your sandwich is what is keeping you full. So 
This is chicken, just sliced chicken. I wouldn't always suggest that. I probably would normally actually opt for, you know, um, like a chicken breast or not even pre-cooked chicken, like fresh chicken that I've cooked, but we don't always have time for that. Then it's just garlic, tomato, and I've added some rocket. Um, and I normally would use burrata, but there wasn't any burrata. Um, but there wasn't actually any at either shops that I went to. So I just ended up getting ricotta, which is nowhere near half as nice. Um, but it will do. It's Italian cheese. Mm -mm -mm. And it's delicious. No, honestly, Mia got me onto this chocolate and it is unreal. It is literally just from Lidl. Almond and orange dark chocolate. I'm sure she said that they do them in other shops. I'm sure it probably, they probably do, but... Oh. Sometimes you feel like you just need a bit of chocolate. I also love this one, which is a raspberry one. And that is really, really nice as well. The same, same kind of thing. We are on the way to get the... I can't even see you. You face it. Oh. I literally was like, why? I literally could not see her face. Anyway, we are going to get the talons sorted. God, they're awful. I'm very excited. Maple, you need to stay in the back. Your bed is in the back, on your bed. Good girl. Even though it was me. Yeah, we're gonna go get the talons sorted and you're getting dropped at the gym with dad, aren't you? I'm gonna go see daddy. I love you. <laughs> She's like, get off me. Right, gotta go, cause I'm in a rush. because I was later than I said I was going to be. Let's see. Hey, little baby. Are you sleeping? Why is it funny? Huh? You putting her in? Well, she, to be fair, she can probably jump in. I won't Hang film on. the car. It's okay. Oh no, I've just thought all of our treats are in that box. She can sniff it. Do you like my nails? Ripping. Yeah. Nice. Why? Put you on French tip. No, I decided I wanted pink. You pink. decided you wanted I wanted pink. pink chrome. Is that to make the boys win? Yeah. That's only why. Can't um, believe you've done this. For bre um, breakfast, for dinner, I'm thinking chicken thighs, rice, and broccoli. I fancy whatever I don't have to make. Which is everything because you never make anything. Bye! Oh, you're so cute. Okay, so I also got Maple's dog food when we were out. So, because um, obviously she's teething and I feel like she just needs everything. So, pig's ear. Gross. These are all gross, by the way. A cow's tendon. I don't really know what this is, but I think she'll like it. Pizzle, which is her favourite, but this was five pounds. But she, oh, you're not having it now, love. But she absolutely loves a pizzle. And then all of her food. So we've got this raw food, which is beef, beef. We've got goose. And um, I found that like poultry makes her stomach a bit funny. She's literally watching me like. So I tried to avoid that, um, but yeah, these are gonna obviously have to be for tomorrow, or I might put one of these in like some like relatively warm water yeah this is nowhere near going to be defrosted and you definitely need some for dinner you might you're just gonna have a late dinner is that okay <laughs> she's just looking at me like bitch uh, and in the meantime i'm gonna cook my dinner so what i'm probably gonna do is i'm gonna give you a goat's chew so you can have this and then we'll defrost some of your food hang on let's just show the camera defrost some of your food uh, that's it and yeah you can have this in the meantime whilst I'm cooking. Okay? Well done, darling. You like? <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, so we are gonna make a really easy chicken thigh recipe that I've probably made before, um, but I just much prefer chicken thighs. Um, I just think they are easier to eat um, and they're better like reheated as well than chicken breast. So I'm gonna make all of them just so that I've got prep. 
So um, I'm actually just going to use this all purpose seasoning, which by the way, please excuse my house because I need to tell you. Um, this. Sorry, it's everyday seasoning, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to um, coat the thighs in that and I'm going to pop them into the air fryer for around 25 minutes. Halfway through, I'm going to just turn them around and then they're going to be like super nice and crispy, which is lovely. And then I'm going to make uh, an egg fried rice to go with it, which I'm literally going to use like the Uncle Ben's or like m and own um, microwavable rice. I'm going to microwave it and then I'm going to pop it into a frying pan, fry off with some garlic and some peas and then um, add some soy sauce and things like that. And then just top with um, some spring onions. So that is what dinner is going to look like tonight i'm also going to make a little dressing for the chicken thighs it's just basically like honey um soy sauce uh and melted butter i was thinking what was it no maybe it's melted butter garlic and honey that's what it is melted butter garlic and honey so let's go I'm going to show you the state of my room and yet again this is because Maple literally grabs everything that everything that you lay leave out literally has to be put just on the side because she will literally grab everything when I done. Stunning. Okay, this is absolutely vital. I'm absolutely loving the length of these lashes. I definitely think I could have gone for a 16, but I just don't think it would have looked very natural. Like they actually look, I feel like they look so drastic because I've got no eyelashes at all. <laughs> but day to day for like content and filming, they are so good. I probably wouldn't wear them. Probably wouldn't actually have lash extensions if I didn't do so much content but it is just nice to you know have a little pick me up sometimes if you don't want to wear makeup it's nice okay bear with me i'm gonna go and do the other eye